Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is Wednesday, May 11th, 2011. We're in for a lot today. Um, first off, we want to start off. The futures are trading lower by just one point. Not a really a big deal there, but you can see them topping out right around 5 o'clock in the morning. They have since fallen a little bit more now on the negative side. They were positive earlier. We had a big, big rally yesterday on a US dollar index uh, intraday decline but let's flip over to the dollar chart and we'll see what I'm talking about right now you can see the dollar has rallied up uh, pretty strongly really right at what time five o'clock in the morning so five o'clock in the morning the dollar makes a move higher five o'clock in the morning the ES uh, futures or the e-mini futures have rolled over and uh, gone to the negative side by just one point now when the dollar is stronger First, let's take a look at the SLV. You'll see that has rolled over as well. SLV coming down a little bit. Had a very nice move yesterday. Closed at 72, 7, uh, 37.52. Today, uh, trading right around 36.79. Look at the GLD. Same thing there. GLD has uh, trickled down. Yesterday closed at 147.90. Today, it is right around 147.44. And then the USO, which is pretty active. That is trading right now at uh, $40.65, and yesterday it closed at $41.08. So stronger dollar brings down commodities, brings down stock market indexes, and everything else. Now here's what you have to watch for. A lot of times you'll see this action. Okay, dollar will make a move higher. Right around the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange, it'll start to fall. We've seen this trick plenty of times. Yesterday was a perfect example. Made a move higher right around 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, 9.30 in the morning. Started to fall. Rebounded up a little bit by 12.30 in the afternoon. Look how it rolled over. And that was it. That was it. Once the rollover came in a dollar, you got a big pop in the... Uh, futures, you'll get a big pop in all the major stock indexes and the markets ran higher. This is exactly what goes on. Every trade right now is essentially a trade against the dollar. Okay, so we've had a, a pretty decent rally in the overall market indexes um, in the past few days. Really on no volume. Yesterday's volume was just as bad as you could ever find. Um, look at the volume down here. And this is a futures chart. I'll show you the um, spider chart. That was even worse. Even worse, the volume was just so light. But again, this is what you got to watch for. Um, it looks like if the dollar moves lower with the light volume, it's the perfect elixir for a market rally. And that's, that's something you have to be on guard for each and every single day um, going forward. <clears throat> now, there is a lot to cover. Let's talk a little bit about what else is going on out there. The Asian markets last night. Uh, really were, were, were basically flat for the most part. Australia was up over 1%, but the Nikkei was, was just up 46 points, the Nikkei 225. Hang Seng was negative. Uh, Shanghai was negative by 8 points. And um, that's really all we can make out of this market. We can't make too much out of it. So I don't think the Asian markets are going to affect this much. It's all about the dollar right now. Um, and we'll just see how that plays out uh, going forward. We don't want to make too much out of the market. We'll just see how it plays out. It looks like the U.S. Uh, trade deficit is out. Um, again, I don't think it is, it's really bad news. We just have to watch the U.S. dollar index. You don't even need a, 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 a futures chart or a spider chart. Just watch the dollar. If the dollar starts to come down, the market will go up. If the dollar starts to go up, the market will go down. When we got on, when I started this broadcast, um, the dollar, the futures were trading down one point, and now they're just down um, 25 cents. So they're getting a bid there as the dollar moves as the dollar moves lower, and that's really the uh, the whole gist of it. Now there are some earnings out worth taking note. One stock that may be in play today is Macy's. Big big gap up this morning um, after reporting earnings. I guess sales were better than expected. So very very nice move on Macy's. Um, that will be in play this morning. I have to think though that Macy's is probably a little bit extended here on the um, daily charts. It's a great move. But be careful, this stock could fade um, today, sometime um, after the first hour. So be a little bit on the cautious side with Macy's. It is very, very extended. I think the market was already anticipating uh, the good earnings. Um, another stock that was in the news is Disney. Everybody talks about Disney. Last night, I believe they reported earnings. Stock is getting hit a little bit, uh, trading down to 42.40. Okay, so we have to watch Disney. It closed at 43.91. 
So uh, Disney is getting hit a little bit. That will affect the Dow in a minor way. But remember, the Dow is a price cap weighted index, not a market cap weighted index. Therefore, it won't have that much effect on the overall Dow Jones Industrial Average. Um, that's pretty much it that I could see that, that really had any kind of uh, major earnings news. Um, other than that, it, they're very, very small minor moves. But those two stocks uh, definitely in play this morning for the most part. Okay, um, that's really everything I think we need to cover. Uh, if we look at the dollar, it's still the most important chart out there. That dollar moves down, and you notoriously see it happening right after the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange at 9.30 a.m. Then you're going to inflate higher. If this dollar you know, puts in a pattern and makes a move higher, then it's, uh, it's lights out for the market, and the market should come back in. Okay, trying to keep the broadcast very, very quick, uh, very short. This way, everybody could get as much information as they can right before the opening bell. And um, that wraps it up for today. Have a great trading day, everybody. I will see everyone tomorrow morning, and we'll see you on the charts. Take care now, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.